hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so here on a piece of cardboard I started to draw the figure of the lady it's just a roughly shape I'm drawing for myself to work easily uh, I found this way easy so this is what I'm doing uh, you can bring out the print of any lady or um, the pose of a lady from the internet and you can work according to the same style I'm doing so then I will take uh, foil I will twist it and I will start to stick it on the drawing to make her body shape and figures by twisting the foil and yeah I will be keep uh, making the basic figure of her body in this way because she has curves so it was difficult for me to make it um, without any uh, drawing or something like this so for me it was easy that's why i'm doing this and uh, yeah you will find the video quite uh, fast mode actually because if uh, i don't uh, trim it or i don't make it in fast mode the video was going to be almost one hour longer and it was going to be quite boring so anyway here I took the other piece of foil and I bend it like this to make her knee part only this is the thigh and knee part and then I after I will twist I will uh, stick the rest of the leg later on but still I will make the basic uh, figure for her body which is actually giving the beauty for her figure her uh, uh, posing style one leg is bended and the other one is little bit uh, in this shape I don't know how to explain but anyway you hope I hope you understand then I will take some more foil and I will start to stick it in the middle like uh, to make her stomach part and body so here like this I will start to stick it yeah here you will see it uh, quite fast because as I said it was uh, totally impossible for me to upload the video of one hour because nobody will obviously like to watch for one hour longer video that's why um, it's uh, in fast mode and I hope you are understanding what I am doing and I might and I am trying my best to explain each and every step so here then I took the twisted foil again and I will start to stick it on her arm uh, one arm later on I will cut it because I have to make her head but that's the step later I will tell you later so no need to talk now about this but anyway I will start to stick one arm and the second arm and in the same way I will give it a little bit uh, shape for her arms and stick it in the same way I did for the rest of the foil and this one is going to be the feet part for her one leg and the rest of the second leg I will start to make it later here is the second part of the second leg I'm sticking it over the bended knee now you can see the shape for her body clearly and here I took some more foil and I started to make uh, and define her figure more the sides, the thighs and 
her um, hip parts I'm defining them more to give it more classic looks feminine looks actually and here on the leg part as well I will make it a little bit thick so this is my way to do uh, while you are working you will be doing it in your way and you will see where you need to add more foil because it's really hard to explain each and every step uh, in videos so here on the other leg I added a little bit more uh, twisted foil to make her leg more prominent and upward a little bit here like this you can see the banded leg actually so then I will start to cover the figure, the legs, the body with uh, masking tape or paper tape, whatever you call it. so here is the challenging part for me how to make her stand without cardboard so here I found the small frame uh, the stand for the canvas small canvas boards I was having so I decided to use the middle stick to make uh, the stand for her figure I will stick this piece of um, stand on the back part of her body I will cut the cardboard actually and then I will stick only the body part on this uh, piece and this is here I have a heavy piece of wood the circle one you see I will stick it here on it so it can uh, carry the weight this um, circle what you see the green color it was quite heavy so I decided to use it so it can have the balance and then I cut the figure completely from the cardboard and then you will see how I will stick it on the piece of the wood I took before here this one like this I will stick it and it's like she's standing on a pillar or on a stone or whatever you call it and this extra part this one I will cut it off here you can see I cut it already and then I will cover the back part of this also with the foil by adding and making them uh, fluffy little bit to give it the shape for her figure uh, then I will cover it as well with uh, pa uh, tape, tape, paper tape maybe um, but even if you don't cover the back part it doesn't matter because anyway you are going to cover it with the fabric from back and front so yeah no need to cover from back with the tape save the tape for the next craft actually And then here I'm making her neck and for uh, head also with the foil and I will stick it here actually the little bit part of the back stick the wood one was there so it was easy to stick the head and neck with that stick little bit and yeah I will cut off this leg sorry lady for this one I have to cut your arm because I have to make her uh, hairs and the figure for her head and those things so here is the mold um, for the face many people were asking me how do you make or how did you make the face mold so you guys can find this mold tutorial in my mermaid video it's in I think in the start of the video you will find it so yeah here I applied the 
air dry clay in the mold I started to press it and then here is the face and then I will start to stick it on the foil by pressing it backward a little bit and I will be keep adding more uh, clay on it to make her back part of the head as well and for her uh, neck and shoulders as well and here uh, you can understand it easily because I have been doing these steps these things in my almost uh, many sculptures videos so it's easy to understand what actually I'm doing so yeah here I'm pressing it with a little bit tiny brush where uh, I cannot put my finger because it was uh, tight a little bit so here I'm using again the clay on the back part of the head and on the neck as well so after covering her neck and face it was uh, easy to work without this side of arm so I will add the other arm and wait wait don't worry it's long I know but I will cut it off after checking the um, length where it is going to be the style for her arm and I'm sticking the arm after hot glue I will uh, stick it with the masking tape as well from the shoulder side so it stays on the place and here I'm pressing it ba backward a little bit and pressing it down a little bit to make the proper shape of the arm I actually love the shape of the arms in my uh, previous sculpture which was white color completely uh, that was quite nice working but here because I got a little bit tired and I was so busy as you know most of the people are staying at home so it was difficult for me to manage the time so I was finishing it so fast but I was happy from the result as well anyway then I will cover the arms as well with the fo um, foil I'm saying again I'm sorry I'm mean to say that I will cover the arms as well with the air dry clay and then you will see the next steps and then I will be completing her figure more by using air dry clay and here I was using the wet wipes napkins uh, it was um, easy to soft the clay to work and to make it smooth because the wet wipes were uh, helping me to work easily with the clay instead of getting dry and sticking on hands and then here on the stomach part I will be adding more clay uh, you will see I am not using clay on her complete body only on some parts which are going to be more prominent through the fabric like the pose she is standing in a windy area or on a beach uh, it was uh, in this way style the pose for her body so there were only some parts of body they are prominent so the stomach was a little bit outward not too much obviously a little bit to give the figure the shape for her body to make it more beautiful and prominent so here I was just doing drawing a line figure for myself to 
show the uh, stomach style and those things and then I will be adding the clay on her legs and thighs and on the hips on the one side as well and here you will be keep watching that what actually I'm doing here you can see I added a little bit more clay on the bottom of the stomach the front part of the belly to make it looks more realistic and beautiful once it's done you will see the sh actual shape uh, of the body Now here I took a smooth straight thin piece of uh, clay and I stick it half part on her head and the other part on her arm and then I will be sticking more clay by rolling it a little bit on this part of the clay so it will be easy to uh, style the hairs and to uh, look them like they are having wind coming through and they are going backward from her head to arm side so I will be adding more and more clay until I get satisfied from her hairstyle and this is also you need to check your work if you are going to make it that what kind of style of her hairs you are going to make you can see I'm adding little little pieces of clay sticking the one part with the head and the other part with the arm and here is the clay for her uh, feet and the bottom part of her uh, legs and here on the hip sides the side of the body I'm adding some more clay to make it smooth instead of having the tape uh, texture because when we will apply the fabric uh, this part actually has to be smooth and in a shape so yeah here you can see it's l looking quite beautiful so now the basic basic and the main think the main part of the sculpture is starting I have to after the clay dry obviously I stick it here on one side on a can and the other side on a gallon whatever is available for you of course you will stick it like this in a laying position and I stick it the bottom of the wood with the masking tape so it stays on the place and then we will start to work for the fabric here I took the white glue I added water and then I added the ceramic powder or plaster of Paris whatever is available or you can use cement the most easy thing me I was not having cement so I used this uh, plaster of Paris or ceramic powder I will mix it and today I'm not using fabric I'm gonna use these wet wipes a uh, new idea came in my mind so I decided to use this one so I mixed it in this mixture 
and then I put the camera up to make you show how I'm going to work and this is also obviously you have to check you have to work according to your style how you are going to stick the fabric on which places on of her body so it's like uh, wind coming uh, from the front or the sides and the dress is going upward so from here we will not leave it complete straight obviously I will stick it like this from front little bit to backward as well to show the shape for her body as well and then here again more fabric and I will be keep adding the fabric as much I desire to give the style for her dress that wrapping whatever so from her legs part it's going upward little bit like this but don't forget to leave it straight uh, to give it some plates uh, like this like it's wet and it stick with her body and having some plates like this because this is the actual beauty beauty for her figure if you will leave the fabric straight on her body it's not going to give that uh, look actually so keep watching here you will see what actually I'm doing and I will be using some pins to stick uh, the fabric from front to backward as well here you can see how I'm pressing the fabric downward because the fabric was wet and the clay became also a little bit wet because of uh, fabric and uh, liquid so it was uh, quite easy to work through to stick the fabric on her body to style it then here this part I will be sticking it with the can I will add uh, pins and then I will be keep pressing the fabric between her legs actually to define the shape for her legs this is so important otherwise you will lose the beauty for her figure and for her style and pose so keep these things in mind here you can see I pinned it up and then I will be keep working and from here as well I will press it backward a little bit to define the figure for her body you see here I stick the pin again so this is so important to work through and here keep pressing as well between her legs to define the shape okay and this is going to be the part for her blouse it will not be a separate thing of course it was uh, it was going to be the same but the uh, tissue was wet wipes were not enough so I have to cut the small piece of the fabric to stick it here
I let it dry the overnight so now it's dry and I was quite tense here while removing it that let's see how this wet wipes are going to work they were going to be hardened or not so here I will remove them and then you will see the result I was quite tense here actually because first time I used the fabric wet wipes and here you go you can see the figure you can see the fabric you can see the style and the posing and here I will remove the pins from her body and then I'm using a uh, silver acrylic paint uh, to cover all her body her dress her hairs her uh, legs everything with this acrylic paint but if you want to use uh, silver spray paint that's also fine but uh, I don't like much shine in this sculpture actually so I will be coating many layers of this uh, silver acrylic paint one layer is dry then I will be adding more uh, silver um, acrylic paint to do more coating to make it more looks um, realistic dress type so try not to use uh, too much liquid on the fabric because you can lose the shape for the dress uh, because after all it's uh, wet wipes if you want uh, or if you are afraid to use the wet wipes you can obviously use um, fabric with cement or plaster of Paris so here now I have a uh, golden acrylic paint which I will start to highlight the dress um, not to give it complete golden obviously I'm just adding uh, uh, golden into silver because silver was little bit uh, still wet so I decided to mix it with the golden to give it shade different shade instead of a uh, separate golden color so here now you can see easily her shape of her body the stomach little bit I made outward and the line I made on stomach so here you can see it easily and here I am taking uh, black and silver acrylic paint I am mixing them together to give it uh, light uh, like gray or silver shade for her body not to leave it uh, separate silver to define the dress and to define the figure of her body I decided to use this shade not complete black and not complete silver I hope you understand what I am actually doing with uh, mixing the colors so I will color all of her body the prominent body not the covered one with fabric and her hairs as well with this shade and for this wood piece I am using teal color it looks like blue as I am always saying about this color in video it looks like uh, blue color but it's actually turquoise shade different shade of turquoise or teal color anyway I will cover this uh, wood piece with this to define the sculpture more and here we are done I'm actually loving this so much yeah there is little bit mistakes in my arms making this time I know and I agree with this um, but I'm loving her figure overall her hairs her body shape and those things her dress the shades in her dress and I hope you like the video stay tuned to watch more ideas stay tuned to have uh, more sculptures and more bows and many more things 
stay tuned keep sharing my videos with your family and friends and on your social media to subscribe my work if you think so that i deserve more subscribers so please do so to make me reach on a level so i feel happy and excited and encouraged and i can continue to my channel and thank you so much for your support thank you so much for watching and bye for now